next guest says having a baby was one of her biggest dreams until one day out of the blue, her whole life was turned upside down. I met Cameron at work and I had a big crush on him right away. He had these big blue eyes and he just had a huge smile. He proposed to me two years after we started dating. I was really content with life after we got engaged and I knew that we were going to blossom wherever we ended up in life. Six months ago, Cameron moved out of town to start up a business and I was getting ready to join him. I was at work and I got a text from Cameron's friend that Cameron was in a motorcycle accident. At that point, I was assuming that it was a minor accident. It wasn't until I got several calls from his sister that I knew something serious happened. She told me that they don't think he's going to make it. I felt really helpless. And so immediately I called my mom and we were on a flight within the next hour. Seeing him in the hospital was really scary for me. I told him that I'm here and I know you're strong and I know you're going to pull through this and you're all going to be waiting here for when you come back. On the third day, we got the news that he was officially brain dead. I had a hard time accepting it and I wasn't ready to say goodbye to him. I am thinking about having a future without him. I regretted not having a family with him and not starting that sooner. The idea came to me that if I am going to have a family with him that I need to look into a way to extract sperm. Cameron is an organ donor, so they had to keep him on life support until they could find recipients. So we had a little more time to look around for a doctor who could come in at short notice to do the procedure. The next obstacle was they needed $6,000 up front. Cameron's sister came up with the idea of crowdfunding. From the time that we posted the campaign, within the hour we already had more than we needed and it was just extremely humbling to already have that much support. And so the day the doctor came to the hospital and was able to do the procedure and he said it was very successful. Some people ask me why not just fall in love with someone else eventually and have a family with them. And um, my answer is that it's not the same. It's not going to be a family with Cameron. Wanting more information on the process she need to go through in order to get pregnant, Stephanie went to see fertility specialist Dr. John Jane. Welcome to Santa Monica Fertility. Thank you. First of all, I want to tell you sorry for your loss. Thank tragedy you. you've gone through. With your practice, have you worked with any other cases that are probably similar where there's a deceased father? Yeah, I have actually. It's called posthumous reproduction. That's the medical term. It's the assisting of one member of, of a couple to achieve a birth with the sperm of a deceased partner or fiance. And whenever working in these situations, I always make sure that you're at a point in the grieving process and the healing process where you're ready for it. Um, it's a big step, but I have a lot of good news for you today, okay? Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have a couple favorable facts in our court. One is you're really young. Your eggs are the best they are for your entire life right now, over the next five, seven, eight years. And that probably is the most important factor for fertility success. And the other favorable fact, you took the initiative to get the sperm from your fiance and froze that and it was viable sperm. Okay. That's as far, sorry, as far as time frame, there isn't a point where um, it becomes less usable? That's correct. Okay. Yeah, sperm is frozen as are eggs or other tissues to minus 196 degrees Celsius. So the one message I had for you today, Stephanie, was that you have time. And so it's such a traumatic event in your life, you have to give your body and your mind and your soul time to heal. Um, you'll know when you're ready, and when you're ready for it, it'll be there for you, okay? Thank you. Okay, my <laughs> pleasure. That was just a few days ago, and in a doctor's exclusive, both Stephanie and Dr. Jane join us now. Welcome to you both, and Stephanie, so very sorry for your loss. Thank you. 
Cameron was it for me. Mm -hmm. I was going to settle down with him and he was going to be my husband for the rest of my life and that was going to be my family. Mm -hmm. And so um, it's kind of hard to really understand yourself, but um, when I lost Cameron, it's like I lost my whole family along with it. And Dr. Jean, let's talk a little bit about, obviously you did a full evaluation and in your line of work, obviously you're able to accomplish things now that we couldn't do many, many, many years ago. And so you're dealing with a complex situation here, both emotionally, but also just trying to figure out, okay, well, could Stephanie indeed get pregnant? And so uh, with juggling all those tasks, you know, what, what's not only your opinion, but medically what happened in the evaluation? Well, um, first and foremost, she's 22. That is the most important aspect about fertility and her future pregnancy. And the fact that she really took the initiative to get that sperm and freeze it. Mm -hmm. We can take one sperm and put it into one egg and create an embryo. And because she's 22, that's a very high chance of success. 65% chance she'll have a baby. Um, and with, with the sperm there and it's safe and it's frozen, she can actually decide to do this kind of whenever she wants. Is right, frozen true? sperm is good for decades. So uh, I was very moved by the story, to tell you the truth. And, um, so whenever you're ready, whether that's one year, two years, three years, give me a call. And I'm going to give you a free IVF cycle uh -oh. so that you can have a baby with Cameron. One of, the, one of the great things about this, and Dr. Jane, again, I know you deal with this so much, is the ability um, to allow someone to make the decision that's right for them. Mm -hmm. and. I just, I applaud your maturity and yeah, wish you the best of luck. Whatever the future holds, Dr. Jane, thank you for Pleasure. your generous offer. We'll be right back.